Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another walkthrough. We're going to do the abandoned transport contract and we're also going to use the 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4XE. There's still a couple of small final things that need to be done to it, but it's it's pretty much done and I'm super excited. You know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Drop a sub on the channel, guys. Let's jump into it. Alrighty guys, so we got the 4XE here. I did the Rubicon version. Let's start it up. The sounds are going to be adjusted. We might even get some batches. I'm not 100% sure yet. You can see we got the charge port status there. We also have the um, charge port here on the side of it as well, which is nice. And the blue tow hooks. All, all in all, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, we're going to put it into... We're going to keep it in two-wheel drive, actually. What I usually do is I keep it in two-wheel drive IRL. You can see here we got the iron hide. There is a mod review video coming on the iron hide, and we also have a relatively stock uh, minus a lift uh, 4XE up there for a, another video that's coming soon, guys. But let's go help these people out with the abandoned transport contract. I didn't use the third brake light because a lot of people, which it looks weird, but. Um, Unless you're looking like straight from this angle, it looks fine. Because a lot of people who do the big tires and stuff on the Jeeps, they get a relocation bracket or they just remove the third brake light and get one that's capable of handling the bigger tire and rim. As you can see, fuel consumption is really low on this because it is a 4XE. The engine sound is pretty realistic. We're running on hybrid, right? So in theory, for all intensive purposes, we're running on hybrid. So this is what it's gonna have to sound like. Um, so this is where we have to drop it off. Now, where do we pick this puppy up from? Where is this little truck? Abandoned transport, it's over here. Okay, we can, we can work with this. Um, there's a shortcut at play here is what it looks like to me, actually. So we just cross here, but then we don't have a way to cross there. So that's gonna be tough actually. So we just follow this all the way through. Um, yeah, I'm down for this. This is actually gonna be awesome with this truck. So we're gonna have to fall here and then we're gonna have to crawl down here and follow this road all the way up basically. And boom. Uh, that's our that's our trail. This is our path. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna be driving on some crappier roads here, so I'm gonna put the all-wheel drive on. Probably put it up in the high gear. I love the way Big Dubs did this high gear on the 4XE um, and on the Blizzard, which is a console-friendly version. Now the 4XE, it might it might say private. I haven't decided yet. I have a 4XE IRL, so I was happy for the Blizzard to roll out. There were some issues with getting it approved for console originally. I think we're going to be good. I don't know if it's approved yet. If it isn't, it should be soon. But I do know that the issues that existed before aren't there anymore. Big shout out to Big Dubs for all the work he put into it. Um, if it was me, I probably would have gave up. But we're looking good. So The water fording on this is really decent and balanced. I love it. We're going to struggle here a little bit. We stalled out because I was just going a little too slow. And now we get to crawl up this. And down the other side from what I've kind of put together here. There we go. the lockers on but I don't want to risk damaging anything so take them off when we know that we probably don't need them anymore and just like a Jeep we're kind of we're really cruising through this we're making good progress all around so we've made it almost all the way down now we have to start going down this which is it's gonna suck. Are we going up this or down this? I'm a little confused now. I thought we were going down, but it actually looks like we're trying to crawl up this, which is gonna be a slightly different story for us, I think. We can probably put it back in high gear now. We're on a little bit more steady terrain. This is 
suspension play and movement is incredibly well balanced, I will say that. I am so impressed with the way these turned out. got to grab a picture of this puppy I'm so stoked for this all right we got the 4xe all set and ready to roll It's going to be interesting trying to haul this back though. That's where I'm a little slightly concerned. Yeah, we're going to have the road, but we're going to be pulling something behind us the whole way. That's not going to be fun. in the mud and water like a champ. Alright, here's the scout we have to deliver to the worker's house. Um, let's back up to it and pull it butt to butt. I love the four uh, the four XE blue tow hooks on this. Incredible. All right, let's find the easiest way back. It honestly might just be to go. Yeah, that's actually absolutely going to be the easiest way. So we're going to have to try to haul this up here through all this mess down to where the enforcer is, and then over these rocks but this is a shorter trail it just makes sense we should be able to do this um, without too much trouble and then they'll have their truck back hopefully they can get whatever repairs are needed and hit the road might be good if I kept the winch installed or uh, hooked up I mean Hopefully they know if, if I damage this at all, it's their fault for leaving it here. Should have called the tow truck, but... This actually will make a really good photo. Uh, cover photo. Thumbnail. That's what I was looking for. 
Let's grab a different angle here. There we go. We gotta start making our way up. I guess we probably should have raid a second ago. Oh no, we're, we're still good actually. Let's throw it into low plus and throw the diff lock on and start to navigate this a little bit now. be the best way. I don't know, but the shortcut seemed worthy to nail down just a little bit of time. We haven't tipped it, flipped it. We, we might have scraped that tree a little bit, but again, they shouldn't have got it stuck where they got it stuck. It's good to see the field consumption here. We're doing amazing, really, when you think about it. We had 60 liters. We came all the way down here, grabbed this truck, and now we're trying to haul it back. And just as soon as I say we haven't flipped it or tipped it or nothing, we did. But that'll be for them to figure out. That's beyond us. Oh, we do not want to damage our own rig. There we go. All right. There we go. So I actually heard that the Geolander XMT was discontinued. I haven't found out yet. I'm supposed to be going in soon. We're going to get new tires for our Jeep. The lift came in finally, IRL, so we'll see if we can still get the XMT or not. It'll be interesting. Turn on the lights because it's getting a little dark, and here we go climbing over rocks. But this 4XE has done amazing. What a scout. I am so impressed. So I obviously wanted to slow down just enough there to not damage anything, but keep that scout having enough pull to continue. Oh my goodness. A lot of times I just don't understand SnowRunner physics or logic. Like it should I wish it had more weight. I wish these vehicles, especially the vanilla ones, had more weight bearing it down. Especially when you're towing. Or winching. turn over that 
not easy, in my opinion. Bada boom, bada bing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that truck is taking some damage. I can't remember, do they penalize you for damage like this? Oh no. You might not have any money left, oh my goodness. This might we might owe them money at the end of this contract. Could you imagine a snow runner? I, I don't know if they do, but if they don't, could you imagine if they made it so that you had to account for everything? I expect, but I what is this thing doing? Band of transport guys thank you for tuning in don't forget to drop a like on the video sub on the channel and stay tuned for an announcement on this 4xe guys we'll catch you with the next one